Hello, I'm CJ and this is Writing Wednesday. And um, yeah, this is going to be a really short video because I got nothing done in writing this week. Um, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's the end of the video. No, just kidding. So um, part of the reason, okay, the biggest reason I didn't get anything done this week is because I started a new job. Um, so now I'm doing piano lessons at night and then three days a week I'm working at a nonprofit downtown. <clears throat> so uh, all the stuff that I thought I was going to do during the day when I was home, yeah, that didn't happen. So this is my first day out this week on Wednesday and it, the job's going well. I really like it. I like uh, the two ladies I'm working for, they're really cool. It's a neat job. Um, it's not terribly stressful, except in the, I did get lost in the skywalk yesterday. So Des Moines has skywalks downtown. So you can like go basically all over downtown without going outside. Like once you're in the skywalk, you can go just about anywhere. Um, and the place where I'm working used to be the convention center and when i worked at my last job the first three years i worked there that's where we held our annual convention so i was already familiar with where it was and uh i have to park in a parking garage and i knew having parked in this parking garage for three years when i you know like seven ten years ago i knew um that i could get the, to to the building through the skywalk but it's been seven years and i haven't been in the skywalk in a very long time so but i had this brilliant idea because it's been so cold this week monday i walked outside from the parking garage to the building and it's across the street and i still almost froze to death um okay that's a little exaggeration but it was cold um monday when i got home the wind chill was negative 24, which for those of you who live further north than me, I know it's not that cold, but here in Iowa, that's cold. It's really cold. Negative 24. That's insanely cold. Um, and so I decided yesterday I was going to, I was going to park and then I was going to go through the skywalk. Now to get to the skywalk, I think all of the parking garages that are connected to the skywalk the entrance is on the third floor um if that's not true for all of them it's definitely true for the one that i parked in yesterday and so i'm like okay i just have to get to the third floor and then i can go through the little door and i can go through the skywalk and get to my job without having to go outside yesterday it wasn't negative 24 wind chill but it was still really cold um and downtown um I know Chicago is like this, but I'm guessing that most downtowns are like this. Uh, skyscrapers make wind tunnels. So it's so much more windy downtown. You know, wind is like two miles an hour out on the plains where there are no trees and anything. Um, or, you know, on a normal street where it's just houses, maybe a couple of businesses. Downtown, um, because there are skyscrapers and everything is very vertical, it, the wind just whips down the streets. I mean, it's between the building. It's just so windy. Um, I know Chicago's worse, but, um, it's still very windy here. So I didn't want to walk outside. So I was like, okay, I know that if I go out, I can get to the skywalk and I should be able to get to this other building. I know I can, because there's like, when you drive through, you can see the skywalk, it's connected. It's clearly connected. Um, but it's not connected to the garage the parking garage, um, which seems kind of silly since it's across the street. You'd think they could be connected, but they're not. You have to walk through like three other buildings to get to this building. And I knew how to get there seven years ago, but I'd forgotten. And I finally did make it to the Y. Um, I was very excited, very proud of myself. It only took me an extra five minutes. Um, but it meant I was five minutes late. And so I walked in, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I got lost in the skywalk. And 
the wonderful thing about living in the Midwest, and I, I didn't appreciate this until I um, lived in a big city, uh, but the, the wonderful thing about the Midwest, um, and particularly about smaller cities and smaller towns, is that people are really nice. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm five minutes late. She's like, oh, don't worry about it. Things are pretty loose here. And she's wonderful. I, I really like this. this is one of my bosses and she's just, she's great. And she's, you know, makes me feel better about myself. So that's how my second day of work started this week. Um, so that's a long version of why I didn't get anything done. So I have all of these, you know, NaNoWriMo update, zilch. Um, monthly goal progress. Yeah, didn't get any of that done. Weekly goals, please. <laughs> I was just trying to get to bed on time every night, um, which I haven't done in six months. Like the last six months, because I haven't worked in the morning, I didn't have to go to bed when I, you know, I could stay up until two in the morning. It wasn't comfortable the next day because I still got to get up at nine, but I got to get up at nine. And now I have to get up at like 730, which I know for a lot of people isn't a big deal. But for me, that's a big deal because I am not a morning person. So, um... Yeah, this is going to be just really, really short. However, the good news is, um, I think after this week, I should have some, a better idea of how I can schedule my writing. So my goal for this week is to find a schedule um, to get that settled. That's the only thing I'm focusing on between now and next Wednesday is figuring out when I can schedule writing time. Beyond that, I'm not making any promises because um, adding an extra 15 to 20 hours of other things plus driving time is, um, yeah, it's throwing me off a little bit. So that's my, um, that's my video today. Uh, I hope I'll see you next week. Maybe things will be better. Bye.